Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Ignite. I apologize for my voice. I lost it before I got here, uh, which is always fun. But I'm so excited that you are here for this Ignite session at annual meeting. It's a really fun, engaging, quick, fast-paced session format where all of our wonderful speakers get just five minutes and 20 slides advancing every 15 seconds to say what they have to say. It's not easy. And they took on the challenge, and it's been a privilege getting to work with them. We have a variety of fun topics that are going to be covered today. And I really hope that you enjoy this session. I think we're all in for a really great treat. My name is Megan Denhart. I'm Senior Manager of Learning with ASAE. And we're kind of experimenting with new learning formats. And this Ignite one is one of our favorites. I hope you really enjoy what you see today. We have put some resource materials up on the handout website. So if you are curious about putting on Ignite of your own, curious about putting it on at your event, or maybe even speaking at a presentation of your own, there's some information on our handout website. We're doing a little bit of a modified version of Ignite here. Have any of you been to an Ignite session before? OK, a handful. Sometimes they're done in nightclubs. Sometimes they're done in coffee shops. Sometimes they're done in conferences like this. Um, they could be done for fundraisers, for fun, however you'd like to do it. So this is a modified version. And the format today will be uh, a little intro by me and my scratchy little voice. And then we're going to have four back-to-back -back presentations. We'll have a little bit, bit of a break for you to mix and mingle, because that's one of the things us association people like to do. And then we'll come back. We'll do another four back-to-back -back presentations. And at the end, we'll have Q&A where you can ask me from a logistical standpoint what it was like to put it on, ask our fabulous speakers what it was like from their experience and perspective to prepare and present in such a quick format, and then ask each other questions if you want. But we really want it to be fun and engaging for you all. And I promise I'm the one who talks the least, so you don't have to deal with my voice. <laughs> So with that, we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to introduce our first speaker today, Banna Cashew. Come on up. So a little bit of interesting information about Banna. She was originally um, from Jor Jordan and moved to the United States 16 years ago. She's a lifelong learner and loves to get more initials behind her name. Other than her organization work as Director of Marketing and Membership with the Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America, Inc., she's also passionate about teaching yoga. So today she's going to share with us what leadership and yoga have in common. Thank, Thank you. you. Good afternoon. Can everybody hear me? Yes. Good, because you'll need it. We're standing on our heads. No, but today's concept, I've combined two ca passions that I typically talk about um, into one. So for those of us that are standing, let's stand nice and tall. For those of us sitting, try and sit at the edge of your seat with your heart center lifted, because we're going right into this move. Um, <laughs> you laugh, but I'm not kidding. We're doing nothing but moving. Um, especially, we're all feeling a bit chilly. So, um, But in all seriousness, our minds are clouded by so many things that affect our leadership. And combining yoga and leadership is a passion of mine because yoga is not just about practicing, it's also about being conscious and aware of our mind. As Buddha once said, the mind is everything. What you think is what you become. So that's worthy of noting as leaders and being consciously aware of our behaviors and actions are important. Leadership is such an emerging, emerging practice. We hear about it all the time. There are so many new fads for leadership, but there's always one common denominator, and that is self-awareness and bringing awareness to who we are as a person before leading. So we're going to do a reflection. As we close our eyes, we draw in a nice deep inhale through the nose. Let's find that oxygen. And are you consciously aware of your behaviors and actions as a leader? And as you exhale, exhale any tension that may have caused in your bodies, knowing that we're letting go of judgment. And so as we close our eyes and draw in another inhalation, how may those actions affect your behaviors as a leader? The words that we have, we may open our eyes. The common words that we have with yoga and leadership is that we're in the present moment, that we take mindful action, that we're always aware of what is happening here and now, whether it's through our yoga practice or in leadership. It's challenging to the mind and the body, 
But we have to make sure that we celebrate success and go into those poses that we saw earlier. But as leaders, we're going into stronger poses. It really is about creating that balance. Everything is a balance, including what we do on a day-to-day. -day. So comparing it to a yoga practice, you're challenging the mind and the body in your day-to-day, -day, but you're also challenging it. And most of the time, we get thrown off balance, so we must re-energize, reconnect, and take those deep breaths. So we're going to practice a little bit of yoga, and you're going to do this pose next. Sitting up nice and tall, closing our eyes. It's no coincidence we count to 10 when we take a deep breath during our day. So let's really draw a nice deep inhale through the nose, a deep one, even if we feel uncomfortable. Hold on at the top of the breath and then exhale. Now inhale, arms overhead. As we exhale, bringing our hands to heart center and twisting towards the right. Right, other right. <laughs> Inhaling, arms overhead. Exhaling, twisting to the other side. Inhaling, lifting the heart center. And as leaders, let's make it a habit to be consciously aware and intentional with everything that we do in our day to day. Let us make that commitment by establishing healthy habits that you see on the screen that I don't have to tell you. And that is exercising daily <laughs> and listening to our bodies. So our goal for today is to make that personal commitment, to find the time at our desk to be those windmill of change in order to succeed and be more effective leaders. We must find that beautiful energy where we can all work together in the workplace to be effective leaders by listening to the body. Oftentimes, we're crazy, going to the inbox, to the to-do list, never really listening to what's happening between our hand and our leg or our foot. Um, we're sitting at our desk, slouching by the end of the day, losing our heart center. So we must be the change we want to see in this world. And in order to be effective in every day, finding ourselves within our bodies, and I bow my head in namaste, the spirit met within you, the spirit within me honors and recognizes the spirit within you. Thank you for coming. Oh.